these wild flowers are wood anemones. In German name, it's Bosch Wendrosien. The plants start blooming in early spring, from March to May, soon after the foliage emerges from the ground. As you can see, these wild flowers are usually white, but may be pinkish, lilac, or blue in color. It spread just below the earth's surface and multiply quickly, contributing to its rapid spread in woodland conditions. They grow from underground root-like stems called rhizomes and die back down by midsummer. This location is in the park. As you can see, the white flowers are everywhere. This is how the forest look like in early spring. This welcomes good vibes after a cold winter. These golden yellow flowers are creeping buttercup. In German name, it is Krichenda Hanninfuss. Its glossy color is caused by the smooth upper surface of the petal that acts like a mirror. They like to grow in field and prefers wet soil. At the backyard, they are everywhere. They are normally spread through the transportation of hay. But be careful with this plant, cause through the contact with its sap can cause skin blistering. These are daisies. In German name, it is Gänseblümchen or Kleine Margarite. This bloom enough longer until autumn. The flowers follow the position of the sun in the sky. The name daisy is considered a corruption of day's eye because the whole head closes at night and opens in the morning. They grow and spread widely in a lawn or on meadows. Daisies have traditionally been used for making daisy chains in children's games. The flower buds and petals can be eaten raw in sandwiches, soups, and salads. It is also used as a tea and as a vitamin supplement.
than the lions or Louvin's sun. The flower heads are yellow to orange colored and are open in the daytime but closed at night. The flower heads mature into spherical seed heads and also called as blue balls, or in German it is called Pusteblume, containing many single seeded fruits. The matured seeds are attached to the white fluffy parachutes which easily detach from the seed head and glide by wind dispersing. As you may notice, they grow everywhere that is already considered as a weed or unwanted plant on the garden. Sa binisaya pa sagbot siya. In German, Unkraut. Every part of the plant is edible from leaves, roots, stems, and flowers. The nutrition profile compares favorably to kale or grown coal and spinach and trounces iceberg lettuce. It is eaten as a salad. Ground Ivy or Gunderman It produces flowers between April and July which are visited by many types of insects and can be characterized by a generalized pollination syndrome. It grows in moist, shaded areas, but also tolerates sun very well. It emits a distinctive odor when damaged, being a member of the mint family. It is an aggressive invasive weed of woodlands and lawns, obviously, since it survives mowing. I never tried it, but it is used as a salad green in many countries. Cuckoo flower or Wiesenschaumkraut, or you can also say in German Kuckucksblume. This plant can grow up to 40 to 60 centimeters tall. There are lots of this plant growing on the lawn. It blooms from April until June. As I zoom the open blossoms, they look similar to an orchid. This is a food plant for the orange tip butterfly and makes valuable addition to the garden that aims at attracting wildlife. As you can see, this is a male butterfly. It didn't move as I took the video. Because I think it's too windy and it's too cold. That's when the wind blows.
water forget me not or aka forgets my nicht it has small sky blue occasionally mixed with pink or white five petaled flowers it blooms from mid spring to first frost in temperate climates it is usually found in damp or wet habitats such as ponds streams ditches and rivers it can survive submerged in water and often can form floating rafts the blossoms look so tiny it has a nice color combination it represents true love it is a testament to your relationships and promises that you will never forget them in your thoughts as i walk on the lawn i saw these tiny flowers growing in the grass this is called thyme leaved speedwell or quendel erin price the flowers are blue or white with blue or purple stripes this perennial wildflower is 4 to 12 inch tall producing several unbranched stems from its base because of its small stature it is not often noticed except when sizable colonies of flowering plants are in bloom most growth and development occur during the cool rainy weather of spring this plant like full sun so light shade and moist to messy conditions the flowers are cross-pollinated by flies and small bees if you like this kind of video please comment down below and consider to subscribe like and share and click the bell button to get notified for the next one thank you for watching